There are a couple of different ways about how to mod Green Hell. Today I'm going to show you how to do so using a modding framework called Bepinex. Welcome to Gamer Poets and to modding my way. Sit back, relax, and pause when needed. You got this. Take note, you cannot use both Unity Mod Manager and Bepinex mods at the same time. If you'd rather use Unity Mod Manager mods, a video on that will be linked once it's finished. The first thing you need to do is to have launched the game at least once since installing it. The first game launch generates some necessary stuff needed for Bepinex. Tip! Open any folder. Click View. Activate File Name Extensions. Now you can see what type of file something actually is. This tip and many others are in my pre-modding video. Installing Bepinex. Open the provided Bepinex link. Scroll down. Expand Assets. Download Bepinex X64. Open the archive once it's downloaded. Open your Green Hell game folder. The file path is right here at the top. Drag and drop all of the archive's contents inside. Keep this folder open for later. Launch the game. Once you get to the main menu, shut it down. Doing this allows Bepinex to hook into Green Hell and create the necessary folders. Now, to add some mods. I currently only use a few mods for this game, and here's how to install each of them. The first one is a simple DLL mod. It allows you to place building pieces anywhere, including being able to clip them into objects. Open the Nexus mod page for Build Anywhere. Open Files. Manually download the Bepinex option. Open the archive. In the second window, open the game folder, which should still be left open from the last step. Bepinex, Plugins. Drag and drop the DLL inside. The mod is installed. Another DLL mod. This one is used to adjust night and day length while preserving hunger, thirst, and sleep meters. This one, however, comes with a config file. Just like the previous mod, open its Nexus page. Files. Download it. Open the archive. In the second window, open the Bepinex plugins folder as we've already done. Drag and drop the DLL inside. Launch the game. Once you get to the main menu, close it. This allows the mod to generate its config file. This time, open the game folder, Bepinex, config. Open the timescale config, and here I change two values. Day length to 30 minutes, night length to 20. This gives a little extra time over the vanilla game, but not so much that it makes things feel too easy for me. You can mess with the other stuff in here if you choose to. When you change the values to your liking, save the file, and you're done. This next mod doesn't use Bepinex, rather, it patches the game. Suffer Together allows up to 8 players to play the game at once instead of 4. Open the mod page. Files. Download the file. Once downloaded, double-click the executable. Patch. Wait for a message to say that the game is ready to play, or that it has already been patched. Exit, and that's it. Everyone playing with you also has to download this to patch their game. Should this mod stop working in the future and you need to undo the patch, open Steam. Right-click the game, Properties, Installed Files, Verify Integrity of Game Files. Selecting this option will undo the patch. And that's it. Pretty simple. As the game gets updated, older mods may not work, so be sure to test them as you go and delete the ones that give you issues. Thanks for hanging out with me. You cannot use bu- And that's it. 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 Pretty simple. As a... There's some shit.